I'm the founder of the Arnold Project, and before I get too carried away, I just want to say thank you for coming out to support those of us presenting here today. It really does mean a lot, and it's a privilege to be here. So, the Arnold Project. Arnold stands for Aerial Restoration of Nature and Open Land of Thrones. And before I get into the project and the business as a whole, I want to talk a little bit about how this idea came to be in the first place. I grew up in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and growing up, I played hockey. And yes, we do have hockey in New Mexico. <laughs> Typically, my dad and I would take road trips all throughout Colorado for these tournaments, so I became very familiar with the sights and scenery all throughout the state. Last winter, I wanted to go home for Christmas, so I asked my roommate to take me to the airport. My roommate got me to Minneapolis, Minneapolis got me to Denver, and Denver forgot how to be in an airport. So my bag was lost, my flight was canceled twice, and ultimately, my dad drove up to, up to Denver to pick me up and take me back home. But this drive was a little more different than how I remember when I was a kid. This time, there was litter all the way down to Albuquerque. And it's no fault of the volunteers and individuals going out to pick up this litter. It's just too much for them to realistically handle. Now they're using drones for search and rescue operations and to deliver packages. So if that's the case, someone should just make a drone that can pick up litter. And there's the idea. Explicitly stated, the idea is to automate the litter collection and recycling process through the use of drones, which are automated to the task of going out, identifying litter, and ultimately having that litter recycled. But to understand the value of an idea, I think it's important to talk about the problem, and specifically, the scale of that problem. For starters, there are around 50 billion pieces of litter just in the United States, and I imagine that's why 90% of Americans feel there's a litter problem with it. Now the U.S. also spends $11.5 billion just on litter cleanup costs. $11.5 billion and 90% of people still feel there's a problem. Something's got to change there. And that's not even to mention the environmental impacts of litter. I mean, you can talk about the increased land, water, and soil pollution, the destruction of animal habitats, entire ecosystems, you name it. But what specifically Am I proposing here's a solution? What I'm proposing are drones equipped with object identification software, which are able to go out, identify litter, and the kind of material the litter is made out of, pick it up, and take it to a bin which is going to be stored on site. There will be multiple bins, each of them categorized by material, and will ultimately be brought to the nearest waste management or recycling facility. So we have the Arnold Project as an idea and as a solution to a problem. But what about as a company? As a company, the Arnold Project will be an employee-owned public benefit corporation. Our primary service areas will be parks, highways, rural areas, which will include public and private land, and event centers, like concert venues or sporting stadiums. Based on market research, a town like Mankato would be spending right around 3500 to fully address the litter problem, and that's per square mile. We'd be able to do it for just under half of that. At 1750. But one of the most important things for a company to succeed is not just the idea, but the timing. Is the time right for something like this? Well, according to Statista, the green technology and sustainability market size projected to increase drastically. That is 0.8% year over year until 2030. And by 2030, it will be valued at $61.92 billion. With that information in mind and my somewhat biased opinion, I think now is a great time for a company like this. Now there are a few goals that I want to accomplish in the relative short term. Firstly, I'll need to buy the parts for, build, inevitably crash, buy more parts and build another drone, um, make improvements based on testing results. Continuous improvement is also going to need to be made to the object identification software and the data set that's in use. And something that's very important to me and will be strongly emphasized for this company is collaboration with organizations and nonprofits that are with environmental incentives. That's the real way to solve this problem, is through collaboration. Now, if there's one thing I know about technology it's that it changes almost by the minute, something that may have been revolutionary two years ago may very well be obsolete today. And Arnold is not exempt from this change. But I believe the innovations, the improvements, and the changes that come from this project are going to expand the ways that we can help, like with search and rescue, 
or firefighting or natural disaster recovery efforts. And that's what excites me so much about this project, is seeing where we might be able to use this technology to help. But whether this does remain to be the Arnold Project or becomes something much bigger in scope down the line, what I do know is that it all starts with a big idea. Thank you.